when you're a fan of craft beer, or I suppose any sort of thing for which there is a lot of variety, you go to the store and you see certain brands that appear and appear and appear repeatedly all the time. And you think, oh, those sound interesting. I'll have to get that one day. And you never do. <laughs> or three, four, eight, ten years later, whatever, you think, oh, wait, I still haven't tried one of those yet. And I'm not going to say I've never had an ecliptic brewing beer before. I'm pretty sure I've had one, maybe two, but not more than that. And I'm also pretty sure I haven't reviewed any of them. And I'm on video 100 and, well, I am recording video 158. So the correct thing to say should be, after 157 videos, I'm finally getting to drink an ecliptic beer. And this time it is Ecliptic Brewing Company's Parsec, a grapefruit hazy IPA. Hey y'all, this is Matthew. I am chewing the brew, drinking and enjoying Ecliptic Brewing's Parsec, Parsec Grapefruit IPA. This is an ale brewed with grapefruit, so they are not simply using hops to present a grapefruit-like character. They've actually utilized grapefruit as an adjunct in the recipe itself, which should produce an interesting uh, character. Being a hazy IPA, this is a, uh, you'd also call it a, a northeastern IPA, as opposed to a west coast IPA. Uh, so we're expecting this to have more tropical character in general, uh, though that doesn't to say it can't have a strong bitterness, um, but just typical when you're dealing with a hazy IPA, you're dealing with sweeter, more tropical notes, um, less of a less of a defined, uh, robust bitterness as far as the IPA goes. And considering this was brewed with grapefruit, uh, the grapefruit I'm smelling is relatively mild, and good news, it smells like ruby grapefruit, the sweet Texas grapefruits, which are just so delicious. I grew up disliking them strongly, and as an adult, I found I enjoy them strongly. But it's a, um, it's a fresh, it's a vibrant grapefruit, but it's not like punchy in the nose or, you know, a really strongly, overwhelmingly strong grapefruit character. It's, it's there. And granted, I'm outdoors, there's a little bit of a breeze, so the scent is blowing away. If you're indoors in an enclosed environment, the experience probably would be different, but I'm having to stick my nose in there to get it. But then when I do get it, it smells like I just opened up a very nicely ripe pink grapefruit. And that's pretty much all it smells like, which isn't a bad thing by any means. There might be a little bit something extra in there, maybe almost a creaminess, maybe a, a lemon note a little bit further back, just something adjacent to. Oh, interesting, maybe some cantaloupe? Oh, someone's uh, released some fresh bark just upwind of me. It smells very good, but it's uh, masking some of the <laughs> some of the beer scents. Yeah, there is a, a bit of a tropical a melon note as well before I dive in deep enough to get the, the grapefruit. Um, so I would imagine if I'm in an enclosed space, this is going to smell a bit more uh, fruit salad almost, especially with that kind of that creamy note that I picked up. Overall, that smells really good. It smells very good. Huh. And it tastes like it smells. Uh, definitely, definitely a hazy. Uh, the bitterness is very attenuated, very towards the tail end. Um, before then, it's... 
if you drink a, a beer that's about grapefruit that doesn't necessarily have a grapefruit as an adjunct, as an additional ingredient, but instead simply uses hops and the brewer's skill to produce a grapefruit-like character without actually utilizing grapefruit, if you drink a beer like that, the grapefruit, I think, tends to be... It's not artificial. It's just you you know it's it's not quite real. It's it's definitely grapefruit esque. It's good grapefruit esque, but it's still only grapefruit esque. This is grapefruit. They are a, a different character. Not significantly different, but enough that you can tell this was brewed using real grapefruit. And the grapefruit tastes good in this. But Together with that grapefruit-esque-ness of a grapefruit beer, the first example, um, you tend to get a uh, kind of a, a, a greenness, a verdancy, a, uh, an underlying additional character that speaks to the, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm really grasping at grapefruit straws here, um, but it, it's like you can tell it's green behind the grapefruit, and grapefruit isn't green, right? Whereas this, it's it just tastes like a good grapefruit, which is really good, and I like that a lot. You just might, it might be different from what you expect picking up a grapefruit beer. Once again, you get that, the hint of some additional fruits going on here. The hint of maybe a melon, um, possibly a peach, maybe like a tart peach, but that's that's getting into the grapefruit. You pick up a great bit of the grapefruit peel, uh, but but the body of the beer tastes like fresh grapefruit. Great, I like that. But there's also maybe a the slightest disconnect between the grapefruitness of the beer. And then the underlying hop bitterness that really defines IPAs, in particular the IPAs that I enjoy. With a beer where the hops produce the grapefruit character, the 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 bitterness and like the, the hop bitterness and the hop grapefruit are connected because they are often the same ingredient. Whereas in this it feels like you can taste their two separate ingredients. They're not as closely intertwined, which is a small quibble. It's, it's, a, it's a small thing. The fact that this tastes like fresh, fresh grapefruit is really good. I like that about this beer. That is a really positive thing about this beer and a reason why this beer is good. Hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a good beer. Juicy, refreshing, bright, um, and maybe just a little bit of a disconnect for someone who's a real hop fan. Um, but not a bad beer by any means. Definitely, definitely a good beer. <laughs> One I'm going to enjoy drinking the rest of. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and enjoying Ecliptic Brewing Company's Parsec Grapefruit Hazy IPA which is an ale brewed with grapefruit and not simply reminiscent thereof. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.